In this exercise, in this workout, you're going to do 60 seconds of work, no rest, repeat that times nine different exercises. So if you're ready to start, let's go. So the first exercise is going to be high knee pulls. So we're going to do these in opposite legs. You're going to really forcefully bring the knee up and bring the hands down. You want it to be a really controlled movement. I'm trying to uh, see what the next exercise is then. So we're just coming to the end of this exercise. So what we're going to do next is find a wall and we're going to go into a wall press. The further away these legs are, the harder this movement is going to be. So obviously push yourself, try to make it as hard as you can, but if you need to then you can walk those legs back towards the wall and make it a little bit easier for yourself. Try to make sure you get any good rain for that headbutt in the wall. And we're just coming to the end of this, so a couple more. And there's breath there. And then we're going to move into um, some bodyweight squats. So with these, you want to make sure that you get your waist into your heels, keep those knees out, and that the movement is controlled. Only go as far down as you feel that you're not compromising your form. So you don't want to be like trying to compromise your form by getting deep. Keep the weight in the heels. I'm trying to look what the next exercise is because I keep forgetting. Keep it going. It's nearly there. Down on the floor, and we're going to go straight into toe touches. So we're going to put our legs in the air, and we're just going to try to. Obviously, you're not going to be able to touch your toes, but sort of reach as if you're going to be reaching your toes. If you have uh, tight hamstrings like I do, you will notice that sort of your legs are not fully bent, <laughs> uh, fully straight. To make it harder, just don't ever fully release the tension. So don't bring the hands back behind you. Just keep your tension up in those abs. Obviously, if it starts to burn, then just have a quick moment of rest. Put the hands behind your head to sort of relieve the abs and then carry on. Okay, last few here. Three, two, one. And take rest. Well, not rest. We're going to move into the next exercise. So we're going to move from torso punches with some punches. Don't worry too much about the direction, just make sure you get a good range on both sides of the movement. Really use your abs to move into this movement so you can actually feel yourself using your abs to move. Make those punches forceful, really use all the muscles in the upper body, the back and the arms to really make that punch worthwhile. Okay. 
And now we're going to move into this curtsy lunge. So you're basically going to step sideways, put that back leg far enough behind so your knees don't start getting in the way of each other. And bow. Couple more here. Last one. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to do a forward bend and then reach all the way up behind us, go into a little bit of hyper extension and then all the way back down. So that's really think about using the glutes, the hamstrings, the lower back, to stretch the movement of the forearms and then just slightly overreach at the top. Really enjoy this movement. Make it controlled, don't just flop about. We've got two exercises left and this workout is then done. So we're over halfway there on this one and just really enjoy that stretch. Alright. Second to last exercise, we're going to go into bird dogs. So alternating arm and hand, reaching out and behind us. Try and keep this movement nice and controlled. The pace is of no concern to us here. over halfway there, keep going. Obviously if at any point during this workout you need to have a break, just stop and then restart when you're ready. But do make sure that you're trying to push yourself as you go through. Excellent. Okay, last one. Okay, so our next exercise is gonna test our balance and a bit of glute knee strength. So we're going to do what's called Captain Morgan. So we're going to do a balance test and it's also going to activate our scapula. So we're going to hold our arms up approximately 90 degrees, palms facing forward, and then we're just going to spend five or so seconds on each um, leg on a single leg standing balance test. And really try and concentrate on this because it's a much of a mind over matter thing. So the second you lose your focus, as you'll see with me in a minute, Start thinking about something else and you're, you're in trouble over. And then unlike me, try and keep those elbows high. There you go, I've just noticed I've done it. So keep your elbows up really high, keep your tension in that upper back. Oh, I just hit my ankles are getting tired. Okay, that's your workout complete. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.